so hey guys uh, i am jaydeep here uh, today's video will be a very important video because uh, we know many of the opportunities through the gate but we don't know uh, most of them or all of them so today i will just walk you through the what are the options that are available through the gate and uh, how to grab them okay so uh, let me uh, start from the psus so psu is uh, if you don't know it's a public sector units like those are the companies which are having the types with the government and uh, they work together so the uh, names i have listed here are all the ones uh, which accepts the cs students uh, as an candidate okay and uh, if you have from other background there will be much more other psus very popular psus which can hire you okay so these are the PSU Power Grid, IOCL, Gale, BRC, DRDO, ONGC, ISRO, and this is uh, the last one is the Government of India. Like uh, for the positions, various positions in the government itself, like the PMO office or uh, that kind of a positions. Okay. Now the uh, PSUs in front of which I have put the star, like the BRC, DRDO, or ISRO may conduct their own test but uh, remember that the syllabus will be almost 90 percent plus overlapping okay so uh, with the gate so if you are prepared for the gate it might be the case that you just need to prepare the 10 percent extra or sometimes their syllabus is a proper subset of the gate syllabus so uh, you won't have to uh, worry uh, and work much hard if you are already preparing for the gate okay now uh, talking about the packages now uh, here the figure I have written is 7 to 10 LPA uh, it's the as of now as an beginner okay as an beginner what you will get paid now uh, this 7 to 10 LPA is will be like your proper in hand they will there will be other packages like uh, sub packages I mean like the uh, rent allowances or the traveling uh, okay uh, some also pays for your food uh, if you are on the uh, government or official work right some of them might also give you some uh, money for your uh, furniture purposes yes <laughs> that sounds a little funny and uh, weird but yeah uh, there is also uh, some money that you will be allotted for the furnitures or even the sunglasses now i know that sound even much more weird but yeah that's what it is okay and the uh, most of the time the job uh, will the promotion you will be get will be uh, based on your work experience in the uh, company itself so that's uh, one point to note down over here and the uh, packages which are 7 to 10 LPA will be incrementing uh, as per your positions in the organization and most of the time uh, this 7 to 10 LPA will be the money that you will be directly saving okay it's not like the CTC uh, uh, 10 lakh it's like a proper good 10 lakh uh, you can assume it as a base salary okay so there is no uh, hidden figures in this so you don't have to worry about that okay and it's also a good job if you want to just uh, do the job after your uh, btec itself or after giving the gate okay and uh, one of the good thing is that uh, most of the time like in isro or BRC, you will be working for the country then of course you will have that uh, proud thing uh, in your mind always while the working for the country so yes PSU is definitely one of a good option which uh, you can look for okay now the second one is then mtech uh, which most of the candidates uh, uh, know and that's the reason they are appearing for the gate okay now here the name of the colleges which I have written are all the government colleges okay there will be private colleges which will accept through the a uh, gate score of course bits is not in the government okay uh, but yeah there are uh, many colleges which will accept the gate score for your uh, admission in the mtech okay now uh, what whatever i am writing is here with respect to iits and isc which are government uh, colleges so here you will be receiving the 12.4k stipend per month okay so uh, that's good thing like when while you are studying you will be getting that this much amount of a stipend and the jobs uh, will be in C i am talking about cs department can have an average from 15 to 30 ctc again it depends on which iit you are or uh, which nit you are so things may vary 
uh, also in case of triple ITs the triple IT Hyderabad and the Bangalore are the two best which I know right now in terms of fees uh, the fees will be very less in the government institutes like the ISC IIT or NIT it will be roughly around 40k uh, my current fee as of now is a 30k out of which 15k is a refund uh, okay uh, but in case of a triple IT is the uh, fees are really high uh, one of my friend is in triple IT Bangalore uh, her fees for one year was I guess 10 lakhs okay so keep this thing in mind also uh, the duration of the MTech will be two year now while doing MTech there are many uh, type of scholarships that you may came across like there is a one famous uh, reliance uh, scholarship for AI uh, so it chooses 40 candidates on the basis of a uh, gate score okay and if you qualify that you will be getting a scholarship of worth rupees 6 lakh for your two years and it uh, covers all of your uh, fees and as well as the other uh, uh, expenses like the your hostel rooms okay so that also covered in that 6 lakhs and uh, apart from that you can get means you can ask them for the uh, technical accessories like the laptops okay that you may need during your uh, preparation or, or the mtech now uh, the third option is the ms now most of the candidates uh, don't know that the you can go for ms through the gate itself okay so the yes uh, it exists right uh, you can do ms through iscs iits or nits okay now uh, one good thing uh, is that you will be still getting 12.4k stipend you will be still having the same uh, average job uh, CTC which uh, we have seen over here this is because in uh, IITs or NITs what happens is that when you go for the placements all the students of MS, MTech, BTech and if they are offering PhD all will be sitting okay and no differentiation will be made uh, depending on your background whether you have you are doing MS, MTech or BTech no there won't be any difference so placement scenario is almost identical for every student right and that's a uh, really good thing so that even uh, if you are in MTech uh, it's not like that you will be uh, treating um, differently you will be treating almost equivalent to that of the other ms btech or phd candidates okay so there won't be any kind of a difference and the packages which you can opt for will be very similar to that of what the btech candidates get okay so keep this thing in mind now the duration of an ms will be 2.5 to 3 years okay uh, keep that thing in mind and here the gate score it's not uh, required very much high okay even with the uh, if you are having rank around something 1200 uh, you can go you can get the ms in iit madras okay so that's uh, one thing that you should keep in mind and also most of the candidates uh, underestimate the ms through the iits or uh, nit or isc uh, they might be thinking of going abroad and doing ms but uh, believe me there won't be any difference if you are pursuing ms in terms of knowledge of course the work culture might be better outside of the india but if you want to do the ms then this is one of the cheapest option because see uh, again fees will be very low you will be still getting 12.4k as in stipend and you are in a, one of the top institutes of the country now one thing you need to remember is that here you will have to publish a research paper okay so keep the, uh, that thing in mind uh, now one of my uh, friend is in uh, doing his ms from the iit so he uh, i asked him interacted with him then i came to know that yes uh, you still have to publish the research paper during your ms but one benefit of ms is that it's very field specific okay so my friend is doing uh, ms in terms of uh, AI field so he what he studies is completely focused on the AI and this uh, in IIT Madras they started from the scratch okay like uh, they will clear your mathematical background first so it might be the case that someone might not be uh, that thorough with the maths or 
lacking something so he or she can cover over there and then gradually you will start learning new things and uh, you will expose to the various technologies that's uh, currently working in the industry okay so that's one of a good thing also uh, the professors at the IITs or NITs or IISC are the ones uh, which are very very uh, what should I say very bright professors means most of them will be having PhDs from the reputed universities and more, more often you will find that they had done their PhD from uh, outside okay so that's very good thing and most of the time if you uh, have studied uh, in your BTEC through your standard reference book you will see that most of the professors who uh, who you will be teaching uh, in IITs or NITs or ISC are the ones who are the authors of the popular books that you have read in your BTEC so it's really proud or the very exciting moment when you see that person uh, in as a professor who is teaching you and the one who is the author of those books which you have read in your undergrad years okay so that's uh, one very exciting thing uh, also there are many other facilities will be there if you are doing mtech or ms from the popular institutes like this okay so uh, please keep this thing in mind and also uh, to be precise in isc you uh, have mtech in uh, terms of a research okay so that will be again two years course but it will be oriented based on the research itself and uh, that's one thing where you can actually test the research experience or research side of the uh, education okay uh, there is one popular thinking uh, which we had uh, been told by our professor during the uh, introduction uh, introductory lectures at the ISS like uh, when we study the coursework we are the consumers of the knowledge okay uh, when we study the coursework and when we do the research we are the producer of the knowledge now this is something uh, that's worth remembering okay so uh, now i guess uh, 12 minutes had already been crossed so i will stop video over here because uh, youtube don't allow me to uh, put the videos of 15 minutes or more so I hope uh, this video might have been a good insight for you. I'll be covering the rest of the two things in the next video. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, uh, please do subscribe, but turn off that notification thing so you won't get distracted, right? So take care of your time and take care of yourself, guys.